guys, my name is Zayden for Tribe 3 Productions. We are here at Days of the Dead Chicago. We have some intricate masks that I'd love to show you today. Please, what is your name, sir? My name is Robert Valentine from Neon Culture. Now, granted, I kept seeing a lot of these masks. They have very intricate light-ups and setups. How did you get into this industry? So basically it stems from back from me being a DJ from uh, way back in the day, like I'm, um, you know, DJing and light, lighting and stuff at the light shows and stuff. And I've always liked, you know, the horror genre and mass like stuff and stuff like that. And um, I just kind of wanted to intertique it, you know, with like with the DJing aspect, with, with, with the lighting and everything and the mask. Because, you know, and in the club scene, you know, a lot of people wear the masks and stuff like that, you know, so it's really cool. Yeah, I've been seeing that a lot in the industry where I think probably one of them would be Marshmallow and all those other folks. And was there ever, since now you have background in DJ, is there any particular reason why they want to do that on stage? Just wear a mask in general? Honestly, just with the vibe of the music, you know, like, you know, Chicago is known for house music, you know, and like it just it has a good feel to it. And then with this, with the music, you know, and the, and the mask and stuff and the lighting, I just think it all goes hand in hand, you know. Hmm. That's, that's pretty interesting. I, I like that take. Now, granted, without all these masks out here, which one would you highly recommend or which one are you doing uh, current projects with? So this one right here, this is really cool. We actually made a Kickstarter on this mask right here back in um, two years ago during the pandemic and stuff like that. You know, we did it. It got it was successfully funded, and uh, we ended up putting out the mask and everything like that. And um, this is actually a, um, my buddy made the application. I came up with the idea. So basically, you could download any kind of face off the internet and put it on the mask. So say if you wanted to be like any any superhero character, say we're at a horror convention, say you wanted to be Jason Voorhees, download a picture of Jason, put it right on the mask all through your phone. It's really cool. Huh, that's, that's interesting. I really like, oh, wow. Dang, that's so sick. Now, granted, I saw another mask that was very intricate. It's right here. Please introduce that one. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> uh, this, this is a new one we just started making. So these are all hand blinged by, uh, by us. We, put, we do the hand blinging and then we do the LED wiring and everything. This is, so it's really cool. So it's kind of like a, a two-faced kind of mask. So it's really cool. Oh man, I like that. It's, it's a, it's a very all, unique design, especially if you got awesome. glasses or something. You know, you could wear it like this, so it's it's pretty cool. You know? <laughs> it's, uh, it's pretty cool. I like that. It's, it's got that like Harley, uh, Harley vibe. Yeah, exactly. That's what we were going for. <laughs> yeah, the, the half and half, you know what I'm saying? So it's, it's really cool. That's amazing. So now, granted, uh, how many conventions do you do? Which one do you guys do? Uh, are horror, po comic, uh, comic cons, um, anything particular? We started off in horror conventions, you know, obviously, because that's my go-to. I love horror movies. You know, I'm a big 80s horror movie fan. And um, we, we do everything. We do anime. We do um, uh, Comic-Con. We do everything. You know, we, we kind of we travel the United States year-round. This is what we do full-time and stuff like that. And also, like I said, with me being a DJ, sometimes I DJ some of these after parties at these other shows and stuff, and it's great. So, you know, I, I kind of play the music for all the people, and they have a great time, you know, with the masks and stuff. So it's really fun. Well, I'm glad you get to do all the DJing like for the after parties and everything because I feel like that's that's intricate. You get to meet the DJ and also all the custom gear that you yeah, get to do. Support his products, you know what I'm saying? So it's, it's great. It's really cool, you know. It's a, it's a two-in-one business. So. No, and uh, like I said, these convention goers, I mean, they're, they're the, some of the coolest people I ever met. You know, they're, they're the fandoms. You know, whether if you're doing a horror convention, you know, there's a horror fan. If you're doing a comic con, you got the you know the comic con fan. If you're doing like an anime, you got all the anime kids. You know, so it's it's really cool. It's it's a lot of fun. For me, uh, the, when I passed your booth, I was like, man, this Anbu mask, and then also it's got also the the. Black, black phone? Yes, yes. Yeah. yes. <laughs> the, and, then, uh, and then we got the, uh, we got um, just, just a bunch of different, like, you know, Kitsune masks and stuff like that. And just, just a bunch of different stuff we have, like, that phone is, you know, so it's really cool. I, 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 I really do like the, t the aspect and everything of it. Thank you. By the way, so for all the folks that aren't able to attend Days of the Dead Chicago, where can we find you on social media so they can purchase a mask? Yeah, so uh, on Facebook, it's uh, Neon Culture. Um, on Instagram, it's Neon Culture. On TikTok, it's Neon Culture. And then our official website is shopneonculture.com. Um, you can get all our masks there. And yeah, so it's, it's going to be, uh, so you can get anything you want in there. And we do custom orders too. So say if you wanted like one of these masks with different colors, we can do that for you too as well. So it's really cool. That's a really cool idea with the, with the handcrafted stuff. So. All right, cool. Well, with uh, Demon Slayer always, uh, you know, putting out those fire episodes, I'll make sure to have a custom Anbu mask because I need something for, <laughs> for a future anime convention. Definitely. But again, thank you so much for taking part of you know part of your day to interview with us. And, and I got a question for you yes. before we end the interview. So we're at a horror convention in Chicago, right? I need to ask you a question. Mm. What is your favorite horror movie? My favorite horror movie. Mmm, that's that's really tough. I gotta go. I just had to put you on the spot. Ooh, I I gotta go old school. I really love Halloween. Halloween's a classic. Halloween's sure. a classic. I can always put that on replay. Always a classic. Watch it year-round. You know? Yeah, you can watch it year-round. Sure. Now, I got to put you on the spot. Okay, Your turn. You. Okay. 
Oh, and that's easy. Friday the 13th, Jason Voorhees. I mean, come on, that's iconic, that mask. You know, it's like, come on, it's, it's great. So. <laughs> well, again, thank you so much. My name is Zayden, and thank you for so much for tuning in with us at Days of the Dead Chicago. Thank you so much, guys. Appreciate it. Cheers. <laughs> that was Thanks, cool. Seth. I enjoyed it.